Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Craftsman Chainsaw. This one has a customer complaint that he can't get the oil cap off. So you're going to see in this video that um, sometimes the simplest little tasks can turn out to be a big pain in the butt. Um, maybe count how many different tools I use to try and get this cap off of here ridiculous so first I tried using a smooth jawed channel lock pliers because I thought maybe I was going to be saving this cap well you'll see in the video that we are going to be far from saving this cap uh, we got the grinder out right now we're going to go at it with that and just uh, start digging away trying to save the case of the saw. We'll speed things up here a little bit so you don't have to suffer through this. Um, you know, this repair is going to turn out to be just about <laughs> the same as what this saw is valued at. I mean, if it's uh, $45, $45 worth of labor, uh, this saw ain't worth much more than that anyway. But the guy wanted to do it. That's fine. Whatever. He had a budget. We're going to we're gonna get into the budget there and we'll be alright. So now we're pounding away at this thing with a screwdriver. What's next? We're going to take a look inside. Yeah, there's oil in the tank. And we kind of get an idea how deep the threads of that cap go down in. I mean, it's just like any pool and chainsaw. So we keep grinding away, kind of fine-tuning kind of grinding so we don't damage the case. And now I'm just trying to split that cap, putting a groove in one spot that should split it enough that I can pry it out of there. It's not working so well. It just seems that I really had to fight this thing to get it apart. Alright, what's next? Now we're going to go at it with a chisel. The, uh, the only problem with this chisel is the... Uh, <laughs> Look at the hammer I decided to use. Ain't much, is it? I tell you what, we're going to pass the time here a little bit. Why don't we, uh, we'll give you something to do while I'm beating on this thing. Count how many scrunches you see in the picture here. How many scrunches? Spark plug wrenches. Better hurry up, I'm going to start showing you. Alright, we got the shiny one on top. And we got one kind of hidden there behind the grinder. Another one we got uh, painted red right below that one. That's three. And we got the stubby one there. That's four. And there's just their basic scrunch right below that. That's five. Six and seven are stacked on top of each other. That number seven's kind of hidden in there. I don't know if you caught that. And number eight, that's actually the handle of a scrunch. You can't see the spark plug end of it, but it's still a scrunch if you're... Uh, a husky connoisseur you'd know that so now how about followed spark plugs how many followed spark plugs do you see in the picture right now there's one laying there there's two laying there we had two followed spark plugs yeah I know I can hear you guys already banging in the keyboard in the comments section but uh, that third one it's a brand new plug it can't be followed yeah I know but I did say followed spark plugs. All right, how about Snap-on 14-4 power tools? How many count in here? And not just the ones that are getting raped by this saw chain. I wish I wouldn't have done that. So there's the two on the bench, and then we got one hidden down in the in the 
drawer there. So there's three of them. No secrets there. How many saw chains you see in a picture? This guy's still banging away on this thing with a hammer and chisel, so we gotta keep going. How many saw chains do you see? I am counting five. We got the one on the saw, and we got uh, three of them actually hanging in a bundle right there, which makes four. And then off there on the right, there's one laying on top of the bench, so that makes five. Five saw chains. Did you get them all? All right, we're done playing games because I think this guy's finally got something going on here. It looks like he's going to get the plug, the uh, cap out. And when I say this guy, I mean me. Hey, hey! Nice job. It actually threaded out of there in the end, so I think we're going to be all right threading a new one back in. But if you look... Uh, I'll get this, get my hand out of the way there. That case got damaged pretty bad from all the beating and banging, so we'll kind of sand that clean a little bit. I don't remember what's in the rest of this video. Now we're going at it with a razor blade. How many different tools did I use to get that cap off of there for crying out loud? We gotta dump some go go juice in that oil tank there just to swish it around and flush it out. Now what? You get all the debris out of there? Looks like it. Looks pretty clean. Wipe the excess fuel off of it. Yeah, what a difference, huh? We ground a lot of material off of that cap to get it out of there. Looks like it threads in pretty good. Hopefully it won't leak. We'll get our X-Guard Premium All Season dumped in the tank. We'll cap it up and we'll see if it leaks or not. So that's all I got for you on the Craftsman Chainsaw Can't Get My Oil Cap Off video. Thanks for watching. Later.